Sabri. So those who go to politics must understand that you cannot leave the truth. We have the laws of God in the Quran and the Bible. We have the constitution of Nigeria. We have the party constitution. Go and see what is going on. The politicians are not obeying any. They are not obeying the law of God. They are not obeying the constitution of Nigeria. They are not even obeying the laws of their own party. As a result, virtually no party has leadership. In fact, no party in Nigeria is a party. Because the meaning of party is a set of people who share common objectives. But what we have is a short of, set of idiots who each want to have an office from the party. And idiots can never make a, a successful organization. Every organization to succeed, the members must aim, uphold, and commit themselves to keeping to the truth. They must uphold and commit themselves to being patient. So if you are not uh, wanted, then you don't leave the party, you die, you fight, you kill. What for? Whatever position you hold, you are not going to be the first one. And whatever position you hold is not going to be permanent. There will be a day when it will end. And what have you seen? People who leave governor today and arrested tomorrow. Why do I even want to be? So all these people fighting for offices, and not one day are these politicians coming together to ask one question. You know the one question they don't ask? What do we do to improve the people of Nigeria? No. It is what do I do so that I become governor? Then why do you want to be a governor if you are an idiot? What is the Id meaning of idiot? You know the meaning of idiot? It's a Greek word. It means a person who only thinks of himself. If everybody thinks of himself, who is going to have a wife? Which wife is going to have a husband? So unless our politicians accept that truth, the truth is the truth. <laughs> we must set up rule. The rules are already there. Yeah, you understand? There is no party that has no constitution. And then you see them going to court to interpret the constitution. Are you mad people? You made the constitution yourself. Who do you need to interpret it? <laughs> it's only that you are not honest to yourselves. Because you sat down and wrote it. If you don't know the meaning and you wrote, what will Abbas Tafida call you? You know, mad people. Because only a madman will write a thing and he needs somebody to interpret <laughs> the very thing he has written. So I will tell the parties, you all have your constitution. The nation has a constitution. And you are supposed to be set of people with common goals, common objectives. So please show us you have common goals. Show us you have rule made by your party. Show us you have uh, respect for the constitution of Nigeria. Do not transfer the election to the courts. <laughs> Our vice president himself honestly accepted that guilt. The courts have become those who are appointing the governors. In another reverse, I respect him as a lawyer. But what he's saying is, we as politicians, we have failed to act on even what we know. <laughs> we know the constitution, we know the fact, and we failed. We went for the court to judge. In many places, you see four people who go to a village, hide, and write the results. They have finished delegate, they have finished this, they brought, they want all the delegates to belong to one person. Then why do we have the democracy? Yeah, you understand? So the, the second part is they take money and give to youth. These youth are young people who are supposed to be reading, learning, and planning their future. So please let, let our children be peaceful. Give them chance to build themselves as young men. If you can do what is good for them, do. If you cannot, please leave them alone. The final part is to the ordinary people. Somebody come and distribute 10, 10 naira and you jump, you clap for him. And at the end of the day, it's only the bait. You have become the fish in the water. That he's putting the bait and catch the fish and go and put it on fire. So my people here in Jalingo, my advice is let's keep to the truth. Let's everybody vote according to his conscience. And let's hit those who are trying to cheat the system. Because they are the people cheating us. They are the people harming us. If we have free and fair election, if one person is wrong, we can make another election next time and change him. But you have one donkey producing another donkey, and they will say no camel should carry lots. And can the donkey carry the lots? <laughs> <laughs>